Hi, Superspruce here, back with a new series. This is a special series, or at least it's non-incremental game. Because, yeah, I did a poll whether to do Minecraft or Factorio or both. And it narrowly came out to just Factorio. So, yes, I'm doing a Factorio series. And I'm doing a Factorio free play. My task is to launch a rocket to space, except I also have a greater task than just launching a rocket into space here. You'll need to yeah, research advanced technology, start small, work your way with automation, and don't forget, forget to, for, to protect yourselves from the natives. So, um, oh yeah, tab, not enter, and then uh, let's do that. So, I have played Factorio before, and I have launched a rocket, but you may notice the mini-map looks weird, and this is because I'm actually, this is a modded Factorio save. I have a couple of, I have a bunch of mods. I have Factorio++, Plus Plus, um, Evo GUI, FNEI, which essentially just like, I, I haven't, I've never used FNEI, but it's, I think it's stuff just, it's essentially stuff had a, yeah, it just gives all the recipes and all that. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get into the series. You also may notice one more thing, and this is that the, um, this map is actually in the shape of Earth. And right now I am in Quebec. So, yeah, I, I guess let's get started. So there's a lot of new stuff from Factorio Plus Plus. That's the major mod. And I'm not really sure what a lot of it is. So this is Carfitium, whatever that is. I, I, I know what I should do from vanilla because I have been in, in vanilla. I also have some other mods such as Big Brother and Aircraft and stuff like that. So, the first thing I should try to do is get some iron. And here is the iron. So, yeah, just get that. I should, um, actually, maybe first I should get some coal. I already have some coal, so I'll just do it like this. And then I know the best strategy is to to do this. And this will be this will get me some iron plates. So, yeah, this little contraption should work. Well, I should probably also try to get some coal here. Um, I put some... So essentially what I just placed down, I placed a burner mining drill to mine the coal. And I'm really not sure what this rock is, but maybe I'll... I'll get to it eventually. So I placed a burner mining drill to get some coal. Um, or not some coal. I got it to get to mine some iron. Then I'm smelting this iron here in this um, stone furnace. So this should allow me to eventually start crafting some more burner mining drills. So, yeah, right now it's just get iron. Um, another thing I probably will want to do is get some stone, which is down here, and there's some copper up there. So, yeah, right now I just, I'm just trying to get 18 iron so I can craft two of these. Because once I get two of these, I'll be able to do a loop to get coal. So I'm just one away. And here we go. So now I can craft two of these. I'm not, I'm not going for any achievements like Lazy Bastards or anything. So don't worry if you're screaming at me for that. It, it, I'm not really going for something like that. So now I just have to fuel one of them up. And this will allow... Um, the coal essentially just loops from these two. So, yeah, that says it's going to give me a bunch of coal. And, yeah, the early game is interesting. Right now, at least for this first episode, I'm just going to try to go roughly by what, what vanilla would be like. So, there, there's a bunch of strategies in the early game that people go for. But my personal preference is to just rush electricity um like as soon as possible so that's what that's what i'm gonna do i mean i i'm first just gonna want some more iron plates so at least i can get one burner mining drill and furnace to get some copper here that's that that's a necessity okay i, I need copper so yeah i'm just i don't know why i have this obsession with like trying to get all of the resources as possible and like 
starting with the smallest patches, but at least with the burner mining drills, like this phase is so, it, there's, this, this phase is just tiny, so it's not gonna last long. I should be able to get to electricity in, in just a few minutes. So yeah, I'm using the same contraption as before and getting more iron plates. If I need coal, I can just go to these two and I can control click to be able to um, take their coal. And yeah, the next thing I'm going to want to do, I want to get um, a boiler and two steam engines. And the, and the steam engines are going to take some, a bunch of um, iron because yeah, I'm, I'm going to rush electricity. And electricity will allow greater automation because right now we can see everything is manual and Factorio is about automation. And it's almost incremental like in that aspect. So yeah, I think I'm not exactly sure where I, maybe this is a good space to place the steam engines eventually. We'll also want a few pipes. So yeah, that's, I'm just gonna, I, just, I just need to wait for some more iron. Maybe I should try to build another um, drill like this. I mean, actually, it's I'm probably fine. I'm also gonna want to get a few electric poles so I can transfer electricity. So now just one iron way here, which means I can finally craft one steam engine. I don't really need two steam engines. I can just I can live with one for now. So. Yeah, that's, that's sort of how the game starts. But yeah, of course I also need an offshore pump, which I totally forgot about. That's that's also important at this point. So maybe I should look at what I have in the mini map. So there's I don't know why there's red spots in this map here, but um, three hundred seventy thousand iron, two hundred sixty nine thousand coal, three hundred fifty nine thousand copper, and one thirty seven thousand stone. The other ores are 32,000 carfitium, um, 13,041,000 titan ore, and then there's 543,000 titan ore. I no, really have no idea what that is. More carfitium, 152,000, and then also 152,000 gold ore, which I'm not sure if that's rare. I don't think that's rare because there's 737,000 gold ore right there. And then there's our Gentum ferret or I have no idea where these names come from, but I'm just I'm just gonna go by it um, Because I mean I have played vanilla factorio before like I, I, to a good extent, but I've never played this mod before so Yeah, my experience with the mod is new So what I, should, what I probably should try to do is craft a few pipes so I can I can so essentially what this is doing, this is pumping water, which will feed into a boiler, like this, and then this boiler will, um, will power a steam engine, which will give me electricity. However, I'm going to need fuel for that. So the next thing I want to do is belt some coal over, and this is where it starts to really take a lot of iron. So, because I'm going to need to make a bunch of transport belts, which are these. So they take three iron for two transport belts. So, yeah, that, that's, that's quite a bit there. So, yeah, and it's like I'm going to have to transport it about maybe a hundred tiles out. So, that's like one belt each. So it's, 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 it will take a while. We'll also want to make some electric mining drills, which take more iron. I'm probably going to want to make a few more burning mining drills um, just to get a few more iron. Like here's enough for one burner mining drill. And then I'm also going to want one stone furnace. And maybe I should place it actually not on the iron, but on the stone because I will, I do need some stone. course I'm gonna need to feel it. I'll feel it with wood this time and then this will allow me to get stone. Actually I don't I, do, I don't do that with stone. I, I always forget. I, I always think that I need to do that with stone but I don't. 
or at least not now. But yeah, this um, yeah, stone will be made there. Maybe I'll get some coal because these are now up to full capacity. So, I want it. so now we're up to 120 coal. So you can see sort of how the early game is almost like an incremental game in some aspects. So yeah, this this is the thing I'm talking about with stone, and it looks like there's a bunch of stuff that Factorio Plus Plus is gonna do. And also, I'm somehow not using alt. So here we go. Um, I should yeah, I should be using alt. It might have been screaming at me before, but the early game's a lot simpler than later on, as you're gonna see. So now we can make two burner mining drills and two stone furnaces. I'm gonna do this to make more iron because right now I don't have enough iron. And yes, I'm gonna do it like this. Or maybe, maybe this is not the best way to do it, but whatever. I, I'm, I'm gonna do it like this. I know, it's weird. It's just this little patch that exists for some reason. I'm just gonna put a bunch of coal into these. Again, I don't like this is not automated. This is why I'm, I rush electricity in the early game. And you may be a little confused about what I'm doing, but I'm essentially just trying to get a whole bunch of resources, of, of every resource. Or at least all of Manila resources. Not like the the stuff from Factorio++. Plus Plus. That, that, that'll, that'll be important later on, I, I think. So... Yeah, I, th I think at this point, I just want to start making transfer belts. Like a ton of them. And maybe a couple electric mining drills. I think it's more important to get the transfer belts going at first. So, yeah. I have a bunch of stuff. It's just, just try I'm just trying to scale up as much as I can. Um, it's not really doing much. If I want to speed up, I can even do this. Yes, yeah, so you can mine resources. I can't believe I haven't even been doing that. This is just 13, and since... Because of my OCD, I'm just going to mine all of this. It's just so I can place it in one of these furnaces. Yeah. I, I'm Because I sent, eventually, these ore patches do run out. Like, this may seem like a lot, but... From the base that I've launched a rocket on... I know that... 370 something thousand is not a lot like that that will run out quick maybe I should make my first electric mining drill and I want to definitely use that on coal I should I should be control click in, instead of instead of just like manually clicking so yeah here's one electric mining drill I can even make another and what these can do um, they mine in a five times five radius, or five times five, five times five block, instead of a two by two block, and they need electricity to run. And what I'm gonna do is this will eventually this will put coal on this belt, which will be transported all the way out to the boiler and steam engine. Which that yeah that's gonna take a while to happen. So. Yeah, I just need I just need more iron. That's the thing. I can I can make a few more transfer belts, but it's not going to be all that much. It's definitely not going to be enough for all the like for for all of this. So yes, I'm just gonna yeah, do this, build as far as I can. I'm gonna I'm trying to connect this belt and that belt. And yeah, that, that's essentially what I'm doing. I'm going to be getting more iron plates, a few more here, a few more here, They're running out of fuel or something. That's getting close. Probably should put a few more, a little more fuel into it. Oh, it looks like I ran out of iron there. Yep, I know. These ore patches do run out. This is out of fuel, so I should probably put some stuff into it. Um, like this. And this will allow me to just keep that running. Now I can make 40 transfer belts. Which is decent, but it's still not going to be enough. And this is now out of fuel, so I need to fuel this. I can make a few more transfer belts, but not really all that much. 
Yeah, the early game is kind of annoying, especially if you've if you've, if, you've, if you've played Factorio before. The early game is just annoying. If you haven't played it, it's I mean it's it's, it's fun. But I've, now that I've played through the early game, now like how many times? Maybe four times. It's like my fifth time or something. It's just getting it annoying to play the early game, but. Yeah, I'm also going to want to get a, a little bit more wood so I can get more um, electric poles because that will become very useful later on. Or, and not just later on, just like it's... I'm almost up to that point where it will be very useful. So just a few more. Only, again, only eight more transfer belts. It's just, it's just taking a while to get all the transfer belts going. I'm, al I'm almost there. Just two more. Maybe I should try to get some other resources, like I probably have a whole bunch of stone waiting for me. And some coal. And yeah, there's 31 stone in there. And then, oops, no, not, not that. That's, I don't want to be doing that. Just take, take the coal out of there. Get five iron plates, which is enough for eight transfer belts. And what I probably, maybe I can do this. The cliff does block, this is a cliff and it blocks you from, from, yeah, traversing it. So they're, they're annoying. Okay, so I finally have enough transfer belts to, to go, to transfer this coal all the way to the boiler, but I'm still not quite done yet. I need to make my first inserter, which is another thing that's pretty easy to craft. I just need a few more iron, and what this inserter will do, is it'll, it'll pick up things from the belt and place them in other things. In this case, it's the it's the spoiler. So what I can do here, I can. Oops, I don't need another one. Whatever. It I I, I will need that other one eventually. So, I'm also going to try to craft as many s small electric poles as possible. So, essentially, um, yeah, the, I'm placing down the electric poles. Uh, there's a whole tab here for it. And, essentially, they, they power things in a 5x5 five five area. So, I think I just want to get my... I think I first want to connect the electric poles, which... I'm just gonna do this. You can just drag them like this if you if you hold down the mouse. So yeah, here. And then you can finally use one to power that. The thing is that there's no electricity is being produced right now, so I I need to produce electricity, and this is where fuel will go in the boiler. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put all of it into here. So what this will be doing, it will be powering the steam engine, which will power this this miner, which will eventually be bringing coal down. So, and this coal will be powering the the uh, the boiler and the um, so it can, I can get more electricity. So I think uh, this is good for now. Eventually. I'm gonna I'm gonna want to automate all the other resources, not just coal. Um, like if, I think the most crucial one at this point is iron, followed by copper. Copper is gonna get a lot better, a lot more useful later on, and eventually we can automate crafting. But that that's for a later episode. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.